And so God told me some specific things for me for 2023. And I have, I'm just feeling a lot of resistance um, in the spirit realm, just things being off. So I was like, okay, Lord, what do I need to do? So I am going to make a prayer closet. I used to have like a prayer corner, but I think I'm, I'm gonna go all out with the war room, y'all. I'm going out, so I'm at five below, so we're gonna get some things, all right? So I just wanted to show the Lord that I was ready to refresh my relationship with Him. And anytime that you've been walking with the Lord in this Christian journey for any amount of time, you know that there's ups and downs. There are times where you're like on fire for the Lord. And then there's times where, you know, you know, you need to do something different to really build um, a place for God in your life. And so I decided that I was going to create my prayer closet. Um, like I said before, I had like a, a little corner I used to use, but you know, I need a whole place where I could close the door. And I wrote on my first sticky in there, I put um, that the Lord would make me in secret, you know, because it's in a secret place that the Lord makes us and he restores us. And I just want to spend some time with God intentionally. I want him to know that I am seeking him and I know he will be found. I know he's going to do something extremely radical with my relationship with him and I'm I'm excited. I'm excited, but you know, when we're seeking God and we want more from God, we have to put more in too. A lot of times we'll be like, you know, Lord, if you want to have all of me come get me. That's not that no, that's not how it works. You desire a relationship with God. So make him important you know it's a relationship like god is a person he's not just a fictional character he's a person and if you want to build your relationship with him you have to work on it it's just like a marriage if you're in a marriage you have to work on that marriage to make sure lines of communication are open that you're really in tune with the other person's needs that's how god is he wants us to be in tune with his needs and the way we uh, really get in tune with God's needs and what he desires from us is to spend time with him. So this one, I bought that one, the one that says pray, wait, and trust. But this is Hobby Lobby, y'all. You know Hobby Lobby be having all the little prayer stuff. I love it in there. And love like Jesus. And I'm going to have to go back and get some more stuff because I didn't really, um, I'm not in love with my prayer closet yet um I still need to do a couple more things I think it's the because I put the yoga mat down first and then put like the little rug over it but I really think I need to put another rug down there to make it kind of come together oh y'all so the time the watch the timer instead of taking your phone in your prayer closet you could put a timer in there to make sure that you're spending enough time with the Lord. I mean, sometimes it may seem weird to some people that, you know, you have to carve out this time and be intentional about this time, but literally like almost force yourself to stay in a place and not be distracted and be with the Lord, you know? So I bought that timer. So whatever time, it only go up to an hour. So if I be in there more than an hour, I'll just be in there more than an hour. But here it go, y'all. You see? I found the pillow I got from Big Lots. And um, the other things I got from Hobby Lobby. And you saw I had to go to Walmart, which I didn't want to, but I had to. That's where I got the crate from. And some tissue, because I know I'm going to be in there snotting and crying. Oh, and this little light. That little light I got from Walmart, too. It was so cool. Look, I wanted y'all to see me in the dark. It was really dark in there, but then I could turn on my little light. And it was only $5. It was like in the camping section, y'all. Super cute. And it, it goes on to, like, you can make it lower or higher. 
But yeah, this is my prayer closet. I'm going to add a couple more things. I'll show y'all updates as it grows on me and the things that I do to... I didn't want it to be like super comfortable. I didn't put no blanket in there because, you know, I'll be asleep. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep it, keep it like this. I think I'm going to put a couple of more things on the wall. I wanted to make sure that I could read. I could really see with this little light, but the light is perfect. Even though then the closet has a light, but I didn't turn it on. But this is when I want to sneak out the bed and not wake anybody up. And just go in there and spend some time with the Lord and allow him to talk to me and minister to me. Because even this morning, the scripture I read was about, you know, narrow is the way. Look, all my shoes. Narrow is the way and few make it into the narrow way and that's that's troubling because there's a lot of us that call ourselves christians and say that we have a relationship with god but it said few make it in so some of us ain't gonna make it in i just don't want to be one of them you know what i mean <laughs> i don't want to be one of them lord i just need the lord to you know have his way with this vessel that and that he, for him to know that I am here for him to use. So I'm just going to be sharing little things that I'm doing to strengthen my relationship with the Lord. And hopefully it encourages you to do the same. And I'm sure you can make a cuter prayer closet than this one. But this is what I'm starting with. I'm excited about it. All right. You guys, make sure you like and subscribe as I continue to share with you what God shares with me. All right. Love you.